All right. <clears throat> hey guys, welcome back to another video. So this video, I'm just kind of doing like a follow-up on a previous video, kind of like a series um, that I've been kind of doing. So I think the last one I did got over like 500 views. Um, so, and I'm just kind of like, you know, spreading more awareness because the whole point of this is like, you know, when my Battle.net account got hacked, I literally had like no one to kind of like reach out to. So this is kind of like more of like, I want to say I'm trying to build like a maybe a community where you know we can all kind of like help each other and you know you can definitely leave like your situation and like what's going on and then I'll try my best to kind of like help mediate and you know give you some answers and guidance but uh, as of right now it looks like um, Blizzard doesn't have their 24-7 uh, life support up so hopefully in 2021 they open it and once they do open their live support chat service, then I'll definitely post like a video about that. But as of right now, um, it doesn't seem to be like on. So, uh, so that means like the only way of like communicating to Blizzard support is by via ticket system. So it's just, it is what it is. All right, so the last video I did was called um, Battle.net account hacked and how to recover some common questions, kind of like a Q&A. So I'm doing the same thing. I'm gonna be looking at um, the video and then I'm gonna be going through um, the comments on that video, so. All right. So first one I'm looking at is by Victoria Constantino. So this person got their phone stolen and all their credit card info, PayPal, PlayStation Network, Battle.net was changed or even removed. Do you think Blizzard will help restore it? I even submitted a ticket, but no response. Um, I just told them to, you know, follow up. So hopefully they were able to resolve. So I'm just gonna reach out and be like, hey, did everything work out? Um, so Victoria, so, and then this person's question was, how much time should I wait before uh, my ticket gets an attention and support? So <clears throat> one thing I'm gonna let you know is when you're submitting a ticket, you always wanna be submitting like some sort of attachments. So something that I noticed, um, like, you know, reading through comments and personal, uh, just reading through the comments is that like, if you don't have any um, attachments, they're not gonna like read your submission. I think it messes with the queue. So adding attachments to um, your ticket is kind of like what grants like a higher queue response. So if you don't have any attachments, I think it um, lowers, I think it lowers like the response time because then IT probably has to uh, reach out for more info and then you know just think about it if you're that IT person and you see there's no attachments you already know there's going to be more work so obviously if you see someone that has like you know backup like proof on this proof on that proof on this then it's going to be really fast and transaction for them to do um this person Mirtha, Mirtus, um add me on discord so you know no offense i i like work like a nine to five job so like my best way your best way of like reaching out to me is in the comments and i always try to avoid um like you know talking to you guys outside of youtube just because i don't feel comfortable so hope you can understand i still like responded back to this person a lot so I think I mentioned in my in this other video. So when your main account gets hacked, you have to create like a temporary account, and then your temporary account is going to be recovering your main account. And so that's kind of like the whole process is you just got to make a temporary to recover your main because your temporary is going to be like kind of like what's keeping track of all the tickets and everything. So uh, that's essentially what you have to do if you want to recover your your um, Blizzard Battle.net account. I was about so. to sell my account to an unknown person. He asked for my password and email to check my account is legit or not. However, I gave it away, so he changed 
um, my every information about the account. Please help. Oh, yeah. So this is pretty common. If you're trying to like sell your Battle.net account and then they want like the, if they want to see if your account's legit or not, do just provide screenshots, but don't give them your email and password because they can easily just like scam you. So this is an obvious scam, like not the person commenting, but you know, the person, what, what that person's doing to this guy. So uh, definitely be wary of people asking for your information. Just be like, you know, you can provide those uh, attachments instead send them like a screenshot of your account to showing that it's legit not just like you know oh yeah here you can go check it for yourself sort of deal uh, but yeah that's pretty much gonna wrap up today's video I just wanted to do a quick little you know Q&A looking at some um, questions and then just keep this like public awareness going of Battle.net account getting hacked or Blizzard account getting hacked and I just want to try to be like an available resource, you know, or even just moral support for you guys. Um, but yeah, as always, uh, leave a comment below, uh, like, subscribe for more videos. Um, if this video helped you all, definitely, you know, let me know in the comments. If your account is hacked, let me know in the comments. Uh, and if it is hacked, freaking uh, make a temporary account, cr uh, create a ticket, submit it. Make sure you have proof, all that awesome stuff. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time. And, you know, stay safe out there. People are crazy. So stay safe. Peace.